guys! Today we're going to make this 3D zipper to add it to our animal series. For this project, we're going to set our rooms, have little V here, keep your red arrows point away from you. First, we're going to make its leg. For the leg, we're going to use three bands. Start it from first to second on your left. And try to keep your bands nice and neat. And then three black. And three white. Three black. And three white. Three black. And three white. So total has seven times. And now we're going to take one gray band and twist two times so you will see three rings here and we're gonna press here and the last one right here now we're gonna rotate our loom and start looping and remember we use three bands so it's gonna be a little bit um, harder to do so be careful be very gentle with your hook you might break it or if you have metal one, you might want to try your metal hook. So we just reach under the cap band, grab all the bands, and hook it to the next one. And we're going to continue to do this for all of them. And when you're done, you put your hook here and pull it out. And this is one of the legs. And you can take your hook out and just stick it like this. We'll use it later. And for the leg, we're going to need four leg totals. So pause your videos, repeat this step, and make three more legs. And I'll be right back. And next, we're going to make its tail. For its tail, I use one black and one white, two bands, one black and one white, two bands, two white bands, and then four white bands. Like this. For the last one here, it's for the hair and the tail here. If you want more hair here, you can add more. For today, I'm just going to use four. That's why I use four pin here. And now, we're going to rotate our loom. This time, we're not going to use cap pin and we don't loop the last one. So we're going to start it from this one, the second to the last one, and grab, hold the arm the pin, grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. This part is a little bit different than you, what we usually do. No cap band, and just start it from the second to the last one. And then, bottom two, hook it to the next one. And after you're done here, take it out, and slowly release, and we're going to dip it like this and use it for later. Now we're going to make its body. We're going to start with head first. The same, keep our setting. Have little V here and red arrows point away from you. And we're going to start with two black bands. Start from first on the center to first on your left. Two black bands, first on the center to first on your right. And two, first, to second on your center. Next, we're going to use two white bands. Start from first to second on your left. And two white bands, first to second on your right. Now on the center, I'm going to use four bands from second to third on the center. Four white bands. And next, Two black bands from second to third on your left. 
two black band, second to third on your right. And next, we're going to do this part. We're going to use the rooms here. We're going to start with three black band. And you can use anywhere on the top here. And next, I'm going to use four white band. And four black band. And next, we're going to take one single band, twist one time. So you will see two, two rings here. And do it one more time. Take one single band, twist only one time. So you will see total four rings here. And we're going to press this in here. For the last one, as a cap band. Like this. Now we're going to rotate our room and start looping. This has many bands here, so be careful about your hook. Again, if you have metal, it might be a good idea to use metal so you won't break your hook. And be very gentle, because this has so many bands. You don't want to break your hook. And then grab all the bands, hook it to the next one. And when after you're done, you put your hook here and pull it out. And now we're going to come back here to continue to work on this part. So we're going to take up this part. We press one end in third on the center and the other end in fourth on the center. Next, we're going to do three white band and put it on third to fourth on your left. Three white bands, third to fourth on your right. Three white bands, fourth to fifth on your center. And then two black bands from fourth on your left to fifth on your center. Two black bands, fourth on your right to fifth on the center. We're going to continue to do its neck. We use four bands for its neck and continue here on the center, from here to here. And fourth, black. And now we're going to start working on its body. Two, white band. We're going to from the center and go out on your left. And two bands from the center here and go out on your right. And keep your band down. And then two. Continuing on in the center. Two black band on your left. Two black band. Continue on on the center. And two. Continue on your right. And next, we're going to use white, two white, two white, and two white, and two black, two black, two black bands. And next will be white. Two, and black again, two, and for the last one here, I'm going to use black band, going from second to the last on your left, and going in to the last one on the center. and. The same second to the last on your right and going in to the last one on the center. And this is for its body. Now we're going to add the additional part. Now next we're going to do its ear. For the ear, I'm going to take one single white band and twist three times. So you will see three rings here. And then I'm going to take one white and one black. And do it like this. 
and push this through so it's gonna look like this it's gonna be like this and then we're gonna press right here first one on your left now we're gonna make another ear take one single white band twist two times you'll see three rings here and you're gonna take one black and one white and push put it here and push this three ring through here and then you push this in and put the other end in here and we're gonna press this one and the first one on your right right here next we're gonna make its eyes I'm gonna take one single black band and twist two times you see three rings here and do this one more time another three rings here one single white band and then push this through it's gonna look like this and we're gonna press the eyes and second on your right and the other end and second on your left and we're gonna spread this eyes one eye on each side and after we press our eyes here we're gonna bring this to to here and keep one eye on each side so on the eyes part horizontal band it will look like this now we're going to put horizontal band, take one single black band, twist one time, and you'll see two rings here, and then press right here, first on your right, and pull the other end to first on your left. Next, take two white band, make a tri upside down triangle right here, then two black band, another upside down triangle and then one white band twist only one time you'll see two rings here and press right here and then force on your right and pull the other end to force on your left and after you press in here you use this pull it to make it an upside down triangle here Next, we're going to press its leg on its body. We're going to take the leg that we already made and put your hook through the loose end. Make sure you grab all of them. We use three bands. So you should see six rings on your hook after you press in. Three on this side and three on this side. Make sure you have all of them. And then press right here. this one and we don't have bend on this area so the first one has bend that's where we're gonna press the leg and now we're gonna take another leg and again put your hook back to it and make sure you grab all six rings three on this side and three on this side and we're gonna press on the last one on your left right here and we're going to take another leg after you put all the bands in the hook then we're going to press one here just across on the other side from the other leg right here one here and one here and now we're going to take another leg and again put your hook through all six rings like this and press right here and the last one here just on the other side of this leg so for the leg it's going to look like this 
Now we're gonna press horizontal pen for the body. We take one single pen, one single white pen, press right here, and then two black pen. Make an upside down triangle here, and two white pen, upside down triangle. Two black pen, make an upside down triangle, and two white pen, upside down triangle, and one black pen, upside down triangle. Now we're gonna press the tails on the body here. We're gonna take this tail that we made before and put you. Hook through it and press on the last one on the center here. Like this. And this is what it should look like. Now we're ready to pin the pen. We're gonna locate our loom and start looping. We're gonna reach under and find the first two. Hold on to the pen here and grab the bottom or grab the next two. Hook it to the next one. Next, we're gonna find these two bands should be the next two. And hook it to the one on your right. So you hook these two bands to your left and these two bands to your right. And find the last two and hook it to the center. So after you do this part, you're gonna see three teardrop one, two, three. And this part looks like this. And now we're gonna start working on the one on your lap. Grab the bottom two, hold on to all the band, and then hook it to the next one. Stay inside horizontal band, grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Now we're going to continue to do this until to the other leg here. And when you come to here, we're going to find these two bands. So we're going to grab it and hook it back here. That's how everything connects together. Like this. And now we're gonna come back here and repeat the same step and do it on your right. Reach under all the band and grab the bottom two. Hold on to all the band here. Make sure you grab the right one. And when you grab it, you will see a teardrop here. That means you grab the right band. And then stay inside horizontal band. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And then again, when you come to here, look for these two bands. It should be the bottom two. And then grab it, slowly pull it, and you will see these two bands are moving. And then you hook it to the center here. Make sure you grab the right band, or otherwise, until you pull it out, you will fall apart. And then we'll come back here and finish up the center. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And then when you come to here, the next here has four bands here. So be very careful, don't break your hook. If you have metal hook, it would be a good idea to use it right now. I'm gonna use mine. You grab all four and pull it, sorry, and hook it to the next one here. Oop, we're missing one. It's okay, we can come back and grab it. Make sure you have all of them. And next, the same, grab all the pen here and hook it to here. Okay, next. We're gonna find these two bands. It should be the first two. 
and grab it, hook it to your lap. The next will be find these two bands will be the next two black band and hook it to your right. And now we're gonna start working on your lap. And again, this is three bands. Be careful, don't break your hook. And when you come to the last one, this is two bands. We're gonna reach under, grab the last two, and when you pull it, hook it to the next one here. It's gonna be have a little tension here, but we can use our hook to release it. So you will see the nice teardrop in here, and you won't break your hook. Now you won't break your bands. Now we're gonna come back here and do the one on your right. Reach in and grab all the pen. Hook it to the next one. Reach in, grab all the pen. Hook it to the next one. Reach in, grab all the pen. Hook it to the next one. And again, the last two. Hook it to the last one on the center, from here to here. Now we're gonna come back here and walk in on the center here. Cause on the center here, there are so many bands, so I'm gonna use my metal hook here grab all the pen, hook it to the next one here grab all the pen, hook it to the next one here and grab all the pen, hook it to the next one here and last one ok, now we're gonna take one single black band and put your hook through here through all the band and grab it and pull it through and you put it both end here you just grab one end through the others and it's just a secure band to secure it and I like to dip it on my finger here so it won't come undone when I'm trying to pull it and I can use my hook to help to take it out so we won't pull too much, that way we don't have to fix it too much after we're done. It's a zipper when you first pull it out it looks like this but that's okay we can fix it so don't be disappointed we can just fix it no problem so this bends are flexible you can just pull it and change it to the way you like it to look we're gonna hide this secure band in the back here so it won't come undone You just come to back here and find any hiding place, it doesn't matter where. You put your hook through some of the band and grab it through so you will help to hold it. And if you want to be 100% safe, it would be a good idea to use secret. But I normally don't use secret, I just hide it right here, it should be fine. And then You put your legs through here and pull your leg a little bit. And for the tail here, it's kind of loose here, so I'm gonna take one white single band, put it right here, and then you make a three loops. You twist two times and then tie it here 
and we can after we tie it we can move it out a little bit like this that way you will look nicer and here it's our 3d zipper if you like my videos please subscribe like comment and share thank you for watching see you next time